adventure of a lifetime. We opened in 1999 at a little Presbyterian church about one mile from here. I was on the session of this Presbyterian church, and the other two board members were either on the session or were deacons. And I had 57 students. I taught in the lobby, and a little blue phone was our phone. But I'll tell you, it gained traction very quickly, and today we have, uh, we're anticipating over 1,000 students at our three locations here in Flower Mound, Carrollton, Dallas, and now, of course, we also have a program where you can study at home. So I'm pretty amazing to see the work of the Lord, hungry parents, interesting students, and lots of vigorous graduates. In fact, this May, our commencement speaker is one of our most illustrious alumni. Uh, Hunter Grundon is an officer in the United States Air Force. Um, he's about to get his jet up at Shepard. And uh, one of his trainers is actually a, um, a man that has children in our school. And he's a legendary fighter pilot trainer. So how exciting for us to actually have an alumni with a graduate degree and a fighter jet. It'd be nice if you could just land in the parking lot and walk in and <laughs> sure have the attention of all the boys. <clears throat> We're an independent pre-kindergarten through grade 12 day school. Let me just unpack that just a little bit. By independent, I mean, for example, we are not a public charter school. We don't receive state funds. Um, that's a strategic decision so that our Christian curriculum is under the supervision of teachers and curriculum directors and our board of directors, and we want it to be vigorously and unapologetically for Christ. And we can't do that if we're funded by the state. Uh, however, we're not attached to a particular ecclesiastical body. We're not actually a church school. Uh, perhaps that's why. Uh, families from 185 different churches have children attending our, our three different schools. It makes it really fun and interesting, especially at the high school level where they talk about such things. But it's really exciting. There's people from all major denominations, uh, uh, Reformed Episcopal, uh, all the way to Charismatic that are attending our school. It's, it's an exciting thing. Welcome, Bishop. So it's good to see you today. Uh, we're a pre-kindergarten through grade 12 day school, so that's pretty self-explanatory, but by day school I mean we're not a boarding school, so it's not $35,000 a year, and uh, we're not a homeschool cooperative. So from the beginning we've had professional teachers in the classroom and highly supportive parents at home. We're a member of the Association of Classical and Christian Schools. So though independent, we're definitely connectionally related to people all over the United States. In fact, this week I've been communicating with a, a pastor from Franklin, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville, who founded Franklin Classical School. Uh, he's a uh, board member ex officio from the Association of Classical and Christian Schools, and we're collaborating on some ideas about how to more rapidly spread classical education around the United States for the good of the population of this country. So we're connected, independently governed, but well connected with other people similar things. We're not an island. Uh, in fact, the ideas that we share are not our own. They're hundreds and hundreds of years old, some of them thousands of years old. Just resurrecting them so that your students can get the very best content that's available. Member of the Texas Association of Private and Parochial Schools. This gives us access to athletic, artistic, and uh, academic competitions at the high school level. And again, connects us to schools all over the state of Texas. I think we had a uh, first chair trumpet in the state band this year, which is very exciting because that is the number one position in a, in a band, just like first chair violin would be the number one position in an orchestra. And we're accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, together with its parent organization, which includes the Northern Association of Colleges and Schools, um, SACS, under its parent organization, that accredits 23,000 different colleges and schools is the largest and most recognized accrediting agency in the world. So you can be assured that what we tell you we do, we actually do. Because when they came in to accredit us, they said, OK, we've read your materials. Now we want to see if you actually do what you say you do. And they said, yes, you do do what you say you do. <laughs> so thank you very much for to do that. But it is nice to have uh, someone else come and say so. So a team of professionals, in fact, the last one included a past Dallas Independent School District Superintendent. So there, there were no downstream uh, people. Very challenging. Thought, well, oh, that's kind of interesting. And they loved our school. They were all Christians in this group. Went from class to class and saw the light of children uh, in Carrollton, learning and growing and fabulous. Uh, in terms of enrollment, uh, here at the Flower Mound Campus, we have about 600 students enrolled. Uh, 
this is our uh, next facility. We look forward to building that building uh, right back here. Hopefully it starts sometime in the next year. That will be a 23,000 square foot arts and athletic facility with two full gyms, weight rooms, locker rooms, things like that, and lots of common space, like a dining space, etc. And we'll be expanding our classroom presence on the site as well. It's a beautiful master plan, probably a $20 million project. And, uh, over the course of time, this will be transformed uh, at the cost of as few trees as possible. There's 526 surveyed trees on this site. We want to save as many of them as we can. Uh, we're, we're following the principles of responsible stewardship. Buildings will be LEED certified, which means they're green buildings, and our architect is really into that. And so are we, because the earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, and the children ought to see that reflected in everything we do, not only in the classroom, not just our ideas, uh, but how we flesh it out in the material world in our buildings as well. In Carrollton, we're on Hebron Parkway at uh, The Rock. We have about 300 students there, and uh, just moved it up into grade 9. So K to grade 9, and we should go 10, 11, uh, 12. And we actually have like junior high basketball games between these two campuses. It's very competitive and fun. And then we have a school pre-kindergarten through grade 6 in Dallas at Trinity Episcopal Church, right about at Hillcrest and 635. That school will have about 100 and has a capacity of about 200, though we have two or three other churches asking us if perhaps we come to their place as the school grows and becomes a, a full-size school. Uh, the strategic plan includes about eight campuses with uh, about 1,000 students apiece over the course of time, and it's in the mind of God. We're not really quite sure how long that will take, but it's a good idea, isn't it? So no matter where you live, you wouldn't have to drive more than 20, 25 minutes to get to a core Deo Academy for an education in the presence of God. Your child at Coram Deo Academy, and you, because we're all learners, aren't we? This is a robust learning community where teachers and students of all ages, including us, are learning constantly all the time. A historic Christian worldview, uh, a vigorous classical curriculum, a genuine family school collaboration, and a remarkable value. And by, oh, when they get that through the signature program, which is half time on our campus and half time on the home campus, or a full time program facilitated by a professionally staffed tutorial center for grades 5 through 12, so you can come be on our campus full time. Take advantage of all the sports and arts programs, as well as the same robust academic program as all the students take. Or you could study at home. Same rich curriculum, uh, but it's based in the home and supported by a home advisor. 